my channel and another cooking with my mama video so we are making two dishes for you guys today one is the very popular lentil soup we are making it the syrian way there's a lot of different ways you can make lentil soup but we love making this especially during ramadan especially like that first taste of something it's really good so we're gonna make that first we're gonna tell you guys the ingredients and then we're also going to be making another dish. It's a traditional Syrian dish called chakriotis, which is basically meat um, in a yogurt sauce, and we pair it with a rice. So let's go ahead and get started. This is going to be recipe number four. So we have three other recipes if you guys want to check those out mm -hmm. and get some ideas for Ramadan. But to go ahead and get started, let's tell you guys what we're going to be doing for the lentil soup. In Arabic, this is called shorabat adas. Okay, so you're going to need red lentils. Casonos. Okay. This is a cup and a half, and then you just rinsed it out with some water. Mm -hmm. And then she adds a fourth cup of like just uh, white rice. Mm -hmm. We are going to be adding a chopped onion in there, and the onion just gives it such a good flavor. And then you're going to need some type of broth. You can also use water, but my mom actually made this. It's beef broth, so we're, we're using beef broth for this recipe. Again, you could just use water or... If you want to buy beef broth you can do that you don't have to like make it at home and then just some olive oil for the seasonings it's super simple it's just salt pepper cumin. and cumin this is the secret ingredient to mm -hmm. make it taste so yummy okay so that's all the ingredients you're gonna need for the lentil soup so let's go ahead and get started on that and then we'll get started on the other dish so we're basically just cooking some onions we're basically just cooking those onions in some olive oil. Okay, we're going to cook them until they get a little bit soft. Okay, so our onions are done. We just um, cooked them until they got a little bit soft like that. Mm -hmm. We're going to add that cup and a half of red lentils. Can you use brown lentils or no? Okay. She said it tastes better with the red lentils. And then we just added that rice. So every cup and a half of the lentils needs five cups of liquid. Any liquid that you're just going to use. So this is five cups? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, we just added about a teaspoon and a half of salt, but it really just depends on how much you want to put in it. And now we're going to add some pepper. A little bit of black pepper. Taste as you go. If you feel like it needs more, you can add more. And then half a spoonful of cumin. Okay, so after you do all that, you can go ahead and cover it up. And it's going to take about 30 minutes to cook all the way through. So just keep an eye on it. Okay, so this is for the second dish. This is the shakriyabris. Shakriyabris. This is the shakriyabris. This is for the shakriyabris. So the ingredients you're going to need is leban or yogurt. She used two two containers. Of Is it just whole plain yogurt? Yeah, whole plain. Whole plain yogurt. You're gonna add one egg. Shamay frot laba. Rahatlan tlat maale akil nasha. And then you're gonna need about three tablespoons of cornstarch, and we're gonna add this to the to our to our yogurt. Hala hatet al beda rahat fa'a tlat maale akil nasha. So that's the three tablespoons of the cornstarch. Rahatlan bidan maale shway. About a spoon, spoon and a half of um, salt. Teaspoon. teaspoon, teaspoon and a half of salt. And then you just want to give it a really good mix. And she said we do this so the yogurt doesn't like fall apart, mm -hmm. like when you're cooking it. Not beautiful. It doesn't start like breaking apart, and it like keeps its form this way. Okay, 
Oh, so you want to put the gas on low and you want to stay mixing you want to mix it the whole time are you going to mix it the whole time she said it's better if you can to stay mixing it for about 10 minutes on low and this way the yogurt won't like lose its consistency you kind of have to like keep it mixing a little bit mm -hmm. for about 10 minutes on low and then we can raise the temperature up a little bit higher. هلا انا ما بحرك اللبن صراحة ما بخلي ايدي فيه بس هلي عم يطبخوا جديد فضل انه تخلوا ايدكم فيه لانه بجوز يفرط معكم. She said she when she cooks this she doesn't like mix it for 10 minutes straight but if you're new at you know making this dish it's better to just kind of keep mixing it for those 10 minutes. She actually already went ahead and cooked the meat we're gonna be using. This is lamb meat, but we showed you guys exactly how to like cook this meat in our first cooking episode where we were making uzi. So if you wanna go look at that, we showed you guys exactly how to cook this meat in that episode. We just cook it in the instant pot and with salt, pepper, and this time she added an onion. And then we just pressure cook it in the instant pot and that's how you make it. But if you wanna know how to make it like step by step, then make sure to check that video. We're back to the lentil soup. Um, we put it on high, and you want to put it on high until it starts boiling. So it starts, it's boiling right now, it's starting to boil. So we're going to go ahead and drop the temperature down to medium heat until it's finished, and we're going to cover it back up. But it's looking like this right now. It's not done yet. So our yogurt started um, coming to a boil. It's starting to boil now. You can see it kind of starting to bubble. So it's good now to add the meat in. I should have said it was a farad. No, but like, what does it do? Oh, it starts getting. Okay, she said if you don't cook it right, it starts getting clumpy. It starts clumping. She's adding the, this is lamb meat. She's adding the broth of the lamb with the meat. So we added our uh, meat and now we're just gonna mix it together really well. So is this Syrian? Mm -hmm. Like just Syrian? يعني بتبخوها بتركيا بتبخوها خلاص هلا بنخليها لحتى تغلي وبنسكبها So you want to bring it back to a boil again after adding that meat and then it's all done This is actually really easy This is a very easy dish وشوربتنا عم تغلي And then our lentil soup is boiling as you can tell هلا بين ما نطبخ الرز الشوربة بتكون جاهزة So we're gonna go ahead and cook our rice now until by the time we cook our rice, this will be done. Okay, you guys, so as you can tell, our dish is starting to boil. It's starting to bubble a little bit, which means it's done. We're just going to let it boil just a little bit longer, and it'll be all done. Yeah. All done. Mm. Looks so good. So our dish is all done. We're going to go ahead and just start putting it into another like separate bowl for serving. If you like dishes with like yogurt then you will love this one Ramadan yes in Ramadan this dish is so good mm. it's filling too mm -hmm. it's like because the meat is so tender it tastes really good smells good it's a taste test of course and then our soup is not done yet right okay just gonna put a little bit الرز طبخناه نفس طريقة طبخناه أول مرة بس ضفت له شوية شعرية. Yeah, the rice. We also showed how to make it in that first Uzi recipe that we showed the meat in. So, if you guys want to make, like, check that to see how we made the rice, it's really easy. إن شاء الله تعجبكم وألف صحة وغنا يا رب. حطي لبا. أنا. Okay, let's try it. So good. The meat is so tender. Mama. 
Mm -hmm. Lemon mushroom. Okay, our lentil soup, our shredded batatas is all done. We just poured it and we're gonna add a squeeze of lemon because it just tastes really good with lemon. Okay, our soup is done. We're gonna try it with that squeezed lemon. Mmm. It's so good. good. Yeah, <laughs> this is really good in Ramadan so cool. to break your fast on too. Okay, you guys. Well, we are all done. Let me get the little other dish over here. So these would be perfect to make during Ramadan, especially for like you know um, when you break your fast, a lot of time. So make sure to try them out and let us know what you guys think. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it. Comment down below your thoughts. Maybe we'll make one more video, cooking video. Let us know what you guys want to see for the last cooking episode. And make sure to check out all our other ones. Mm -hmm. And we will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys. Bye.